Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance if all we're... Spectres are elite operatives. What do you know about the... I... the nor... Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious. For what? She... Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretense. Do you have a problem? No, Captain. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing... Do you have a problem? No. You don't send a soldier like that on a do You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather... It was 30 fought. years ago. You no, I guess not. We're an alliance... And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like Just this. Just treat this like every other assignment. Easy you've for had you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. It's very peaceful. My pa is gorgeous. But. When Any I got idea why he. There's got to be something else going on. We've got to. What do you know about Only Spectres? Don't have protect any it at any cost. Don't why don't we have any? Spectres of our usually. Hey, You're a war hero. This is all right? just wild speculation. The Spectres. Why don't we have any of our? Spectres own usually. Hey, You're a war hero. This is all right? just wild speculation. The Spectres. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. Is the Alliance truly ready? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. I the Protheans Their legacy still this is But Eden Prime... Obviously, this goes point. beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species... It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been put... The Spectres represent... You held up. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in Not this? We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills. Just we tell see. me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and. What get do you it know about the Protheans? Just with it. Nobody really knows. Their how. citadel is the very heart of galactic society. I'd like Without to know more about Eden Prime. It's a peaceful farm. It proved we were. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins, that was just a small data camp. What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let like it fall who? in. The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a pro- What's wrong? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get 
out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Okay. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Silence, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two.
see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. 
They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. 
Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them?
humans. Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity! Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. <laughs> yes? Is there something you need? We better get moving. Good luck, Commander. Luck won't save you. We thought this world was safe, until the Geth showed up. Sarah. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control.
Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too! Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this... this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I... I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. 
Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck.
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here.